hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k plus k divided by k multiplied by k is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of k so here first uh, we need to sum up uh, both of these two values and you see here k plus k becomes 2 times of k divided by k multiplied by k is equals to k square and this whole equation is equals to 1. So here further I can just uh, give you that I can solve this problem for two methods I hope so you like both of these methods but uh, if you uh, have another method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method in the comment section but you see that this is the our first method okay uh, so here first we find all the roots from first method uh, and we check that which of the roots are solution or which of the roots are extraneous roots okay so in the first method uh, here first we need to find the roots of this equation so far this we do this step now you see that this is k square divided by left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it is, it is multiplied by 1 and we get here 2k is equals to k square and uh, further in the next step we have we need to move this 2k to the right hand side and it will become k square and this 2k becomes minus 2k when we move it into the right hand side and further you see here both of these terms involve k so it means that uh, k be the common term so when we will take common k from here we get the remaining values are uh, so here we get this is uh, this is the our k and minus here we have this is 2 is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications here and now we write this term as here you have this is k is equals to 0 and here we have this is k minus 2 is equal to 0 so this is the first root of the given equation and from here we move this minus 2 to the right hand side and we get the value of k is equals to 2 and this is the our second root of the given equation so in the first method we will get here these are the two roots of the given equation and now here first we need to verify that which of the roots are solution or which of the roots are extraneous roots for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is k plus k divided by k multiplied by k is equals to 1 this is the over given question statement and in this side we will be verify k is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify k is equals to 2 so when we substitute k is equals to 0 into the given question statement it will be written as 0 plus 0 divided by 0 multiplied by 0 is equals to 1 and when we put this value here it will become 2 plus 2 divided by 2 multiplied by 2 is equals to 1. So here first we simplify our first case. And here you see that 0 plus 0 becomes 0 and 0 multiplied by 0 is also equals to 0 equals to 1. And you see here, uh, you know about that 0 by 0 is usually called that it is the indeterminate form. Okay, so if this is the indeterminate form or in other words, we say that it is the undefined form. Okay, so if the left hand side is undefined so if the left hand side is undefined it means that this is not equals to 1 so if both of the sides are not equal this means that the value of k is equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so we call k is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root uh, and now here we move towards our second case so this is the our second case and here you see that 2 plus 2 becomes 4 divided by 2 multiplied 2 becomes 4 is equals to 1 so these are cancelled out by each other and we will get here 1 is equals to 1 so this shows that the value of k is equals to 2 is satisfied our given question statement so that the solution set of this case is k is equals to 2 so this is the solution of the given equation okay 
so this is our first method and now here we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we need to uh, copy down given question statement here uh, so the given question statement is that k plus k divided by k multiply k is equals to 1 this is the our given question statement and uh, in the second method i can give you uh, a smart test technique in which you can get the values of k so here first you see that this is k plus k becomes two terms of k and k multiplied by k is equals to k square and this whole equation is equals to 1 and now you see that this k is cancelled out by this k and we will get here 2 divided by k is equals to 1 and further in the next step uh, you see here uh, because here we find the values of k so that's why we move this k to the right hand side and when we move k to the right hand side it is multiplied by 1 and we will get here our k is equals to 2 so this is the only one root which we get here from second method uh, and also in the first method we already verified that this value of k is satisfied our given question statement so here we finally conclude about the solution of the uh, solution in second method is that so k is equals to 2 be the only one solution of the given equation and this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos